Hello, this is going to be a quick video on meshing with Tetran. Uh, I'm using a poly data surface or VTP that I've created within some vascular. <clears throat> and I'm going to load that here, uh, Ada aorta.vtp. And my model shows up, and it's got these different faces that also show up over here in this window. Um, and I can kind of look at them if I click P on my screen. And so uh, if I want to mesh this, first thing I want to do is select walls. This is in more recent versions. If you don't have this, um, try and update to a more recent version um, uh, because this helps with the, the meshing uh, efficiency uh, and quality. So I select the walls of my model and move them to the right side here, this button, click OK. And then the other thing that I want to do is select a edge size. Um, and this will be the maximum edge size for an equilateral tetrahedron in your mesh. Um, so uh, we actually have this button here to estimate a global edge size. So if we click that, what it does is it looks at the surface area of all the different faces of your model. And of the smallest one, it then creates what a uh, reasonable mesh edge size would be. So I'm going to go ahead and use that value. And then we have that set. So I'm going to click Run Mesher. And this will take a little bit of time. This model is not too complicated, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but if you have a larger model, it will take longer. Um, and then if you're doing advanced options as well, it will also take longer. But what it's doing is creating a, a surface mesh. It's doing a surface remeshing of this. And then actually creating a volume mesh with Tetrahedron, And so this will end up being just all tetrahedron within your volume. Uh, as it stands, some vascular only uses tetrahedral meshes for the finite element solving currently. Um, and so as soon as this is done, it will pop up and let us know. So we'll see. Shouldn't take too much longer. And there we go. This has <clears throat> 223,000 elements. If we want to see <clears throat> only the volume mesh, and we go here, exterior surface mesh, and you can see what it's done. Looks pretty nice. Um, and so, say for some reason we didn't like this or we want to do something else, we can run again. Uh, I'm going to show radius space meshing. This is pretty nice. It creates center lines of your model and then bases the value of uh, the mesh uh, at this location based on the center line and uh, the distance from the center line. So uh, it will take this value here and set that to be the value at the closest point to the center line. So in this case, it will be probably one of these spots. So we want to set a mesh edge size <clears throat> that makes sense for these spots, which this is. Um, and then it should be bigger for the rest of it. Um, so we're going to click Run Mesher. And you'll see we'll get a slightly different mesh when we do this. This is nice for larger models with varying vessel sizes because sometimes it's tough to prescribe a mesh edge size that works everywhere. Um, and so it's creating the center lines, um, calculating the distance to the vessel at each location along the center line, um, and prescribing a mesh edge value. And as you can see, a lot less elements here um, pops up. And yep, looks pretty good. <clears throat> Say we want to change the mesh edge size at only one of our faces. Um, so like our this surface here, which is was this, if you can't remember from the model. Um, then we can go here to local size. I'll say I want this to be 0 0.4. Then I click add local mesh size. It'll add this macro, which the mesher picks up. And I'll incorporate. Let's run mesher again. Um, so this will recalculate center lines and the distance, and we'll prescribe this local mesh 
uh, edge size to that specific face. And in the end, we should have a slightly different mesh. We will see. <coughs> And there we go, slightly more elements obviously, and as you can see the element size is pretty uniform along this length because we've done uniform mesh size, and then this is varying based on that center line value. Um, and then if we want we can also do something such as boundary layer meshing. I'm going to remove the um, uh, local mesh edge size and do the boundary layer meshing and run mesher and this one will do just the radius based meshing again but also prescribe a boundary layer um, which is useful in a lot of CFD applications where the velocity is changing uh, rapidly at the boundary the no slip boundary so we'll see how this looks And there we go. And if we do edges, you can see the boundary layer we've created uh, along the edge. And that runs all the way along the length as well. <coughs> so uh, hopefully that shows you kind of some stuff to do for meshing with Tetchen. Uh, hope, I hope you have a great day. If there's any questions, feel free to post uh, on the forums or here.